Hello, I am Dr. Tyrone Bino, and I am the um, representing presenter for the virtual presentation entitled Teaching and Learning Transformative Processes. The Winter Education Forum was a two-week induction education program for gifted and talented students from several education institutions in the Democratic Republic of Georgia. The Democratic Republic of Georgia is immediately south of the Russian Federation and east of the Black Sea. The Winter Education Forum was supported by a grant from the Georgian Ministry of Education and Science. The goal of the Winter Education Forum was to provide an orientation to the field of education for the select group of students and to, and to promote education, especially teaching, as a possible career option for these students. Two organizers of the Winter Education Forum were Dr. Nino Sashavili and Dr. Irma Barbagensky. Dr. Sashavili is an anthropologist in Caucasus International University in Tbilisi, and she is also a researcher of higher education with part-time responsibilities at Tel Aviv State University. Tbilisi is the capital of Georgia, and Tel Aviv is a city that's about an hour drive east of Tbilisi. Dr. Barbara Bankensi is a dean of education in a maturing institution, namely East European University in Tbilisi. Along with these two organizers, two additional and international guest lecturers gave three presentations each during the Winter Education Forum, featuring Dr. Juan Bohm, who is a professor from the University of Education in Upper Austria, and myself, Dr. Tyrone Bino, a professor of education at the University of the Cumberlands in Williamsburg, Kentucky, the United States of America. Additional presenters from the Georgian education system participated in the forum giving workshops on topics from classroom management and effective teaching techniques to application software training and the various usages of Google and Google Docs. The Winter Education Forum began on February 7th and concluded on February 16th, 2014. Lectures, or lectures were given at Tel Aviv State University. Follow-up small group discussions on various education topics occurred over celebratory meals. Field trips to monasteries and key government sites reinforced an appreciation of Georgia's historical past and its rich and long-standing cultural heritage. The theme of presentations during the Winter Education Forum was derived from an effort to reconcile polarizing trends in the Georgian education policy. The first polarizing trend featured the quest of learning during the explosive information age, when in a collision course with the social preferences to conduct education practice with traditional teaching methods. The second polarizing trend that was addressed was the dissemination of teaching practices through scientific constructs when contrasted to understanding the principles of teaching and learning through cl clinical practice and field experiences. When seeking to reconcile these conflicts, presenters emphasized the need for teaching and learning in Georgia to equip its students to engage actively in the information age and to do so in an empirical context undergirded with validating field and clinical experiences. Presenters made clear that the field and clinical experiences embedded in class sessions um, would invariably enhance the understanding of disseminated scientific constructs. Presenters also emphasized that these specific trends called for innovation in educator preparation programs in Georgian universities and colleges. Presenters particularly stressed that these trends would make it easier for the Georgian education system to integrate and reflect 
that of the modern education system in the West, such as in Western Europe, Canada, and in the United States. The presenters stress the need for constructivist pedagogy and learning experiences in today's classrooms, and presenters define the constructivist learning experience with the following themes. First, the ability for the student to build and rebuild or create and recreate learning experiences. Second, the ability of the student to connect to learning to his or the ability of the student to connect learning to his or her previous experiences. Third, the change of social structures from teacher domination to student-centered learning. Fourth, a large share of learning occurred through transform social work structures such as teamwork and project work. Five, the role of the instructor is a facilitator of learning and not a director of learning. And last, regular and immediate feedback is needed to inform both the learner and the teacher of the learner's progress. These principles and these methods of constructivism were supported by a focus on the infusion and integration of educational technology and media in the teaching and learning process. It was found that the above mentioned constructivist principles can be reinforced through the use of web-based and electronic media. This leads to two significant outcomes on the one hand. Student-centered learning processes are supported and encouraged, and on the other hand, through the use of new teaching and learning technologies, media competence or technical competence is an automatic benefit. And so, the use of these technologies is not only a question of learned content, but also one of media competence. The observation of participants in activities during the winter school program confirms in large part the assumptions and benefits of constructivism. Participants preferred collaborative learning environments. Discussions were particularly intense when they could be connected to their own, um, own experience. The discussions and learning outcomes often related to future areas of occupation or problem areas, which supports the assumption that the relationships between learning content plays an important motivational role in learning. Content incentives by the lecturers are assimilated and are interpreted in a constructivist and critical discussion process and further developed based on individual formulation of questions. Students become active learners and process thinkers that shed away the stale practices of passive learning through lectures that call for no student engagement. Through the reflective experience that constructs knowledge, participants develop confidence that learning is not a casual product of teaching, but always a personal achievement of the learner, which can, however, be initiated and supported by the teacher's stimulation and motivation. And so, the new role of the teacher as a learning consultant and an expert and a co-learner has become clear and can be reflected clearly upon. Against the backdrop regarding the major themes of learning and teaching resonating these constructivist principles and the principles of technology integration, student participants during the Winter Education Forum were required to develop a syllabus of a new undergraduate course entitled, quote, Teaching Innovative Methodology, unquote. In the syllabus, students identified the learning principles and corresponding teaching methodologies involving but not limited to cooperative learning strategies and simulation that are research proven to close the learning gap, personalize teaching and, and the learning process, um, enhance student engagement, promote active learning, and transform the educational experience to make it student-centered. Needless to say, 
The students were significantly pleased and enthusiastic with the Winter School Education Forum. Additionally, the Winter School Education Forum received outstanding reviews from several university provosts and administrators, from Georgian public media, and from the Georgian Ministry of Education and Science. Finally, for this professor from the United States, the Winter Education Forum at Tel Aviv State University in Georgia was a rich and valuable experience of intercultural and educational exchange that was certainly trans transformational um, for all the participants that were involved. If you have any questions about the Winter Education Forum, please direct your questions over to Tyrone, T-Y-R-O-N-E dot B-Y-N-O-E at ucumberlands.edu.